So we just learned your history, Sid. Now what I'd like to learn is, uh, you know, what, what are you up to these days? Uh, work, school, and family keep me really, really busy. I work from home, um, which is why I'm in Denver, right? So uh, working for myself now, pretty much just offering community management, uh, government relations services, uh, mostly to see Click Fix, but I uh, have some other folks that I've been working with and really enjoyed that, actually. It's kind of cool. I'm going to school full time. Um, finally, going to get that degree that I started this whole thing started. What's the degree? Uh, well, eventually, public administration. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we'll see what, where it goes from there. But uh, uh, so that keeps me pretty busy, actually. Um, and I'm actually really like really lucky in the sense that I get to do this Gov 2.0 stuff and go to school. If I didn't have the military benefits, I'd help pay my education. Um, then I probably couldn't do this. It would be uh, too difficult. Um, you know, startups are, uh, are are hard places to raise a family inside of, if you will. You know what I mean? Uh, don't can't pay very much, and there's a lot of time that has to be uh, dedicated towards it. So they're uh, they're difficult for the fam the typical family guy, especially going to school. So I feel really fortunate I get this opportunity. Tell us a little bit for those who don't know. Uh, tell us a little bit about C Click Fix, what they do. I mean, most people in the Gov2O well world know, but, yeah. but GovLoop is filled with people who do a lot of other things other than tech-related stuff. So uh, just, just a quick summary of C-ClickFix. So C-ClickFix yeah. uh, is the, you know, the new innovative way for connecting with your local government. And it's the concept as it was launched and certainly is now. Um, uh, it allows any citizen to report uh, any type of issue, whether it be a quality of life issue like a pothole or graffiti, or some utility departments use it for uh, managing actual, uh, you know, statutory code infringements and so forth. So it allows citizens to connect and report issues. Kind of creates an open conversation there. It's it is open and transparent. So normally, when you go report an issue to your community, you go fill out a contact form, and then it kind of just goes goes off into the dark abyss. You sometimes get to get replies back in email or whatnot, letting you know what's happened. But none of the other people in your neighborhood who all see the same issue. Ever get you know ever get alerted to that or certainly know it's been reported and the status of that report. This just brings it all out there open in the public. Um, and so communities are using it for a wide different a wide variety of uh, of uses, which is kind of the, the fun part of it. You know, it's not all fitting into one neat you know one neat box. It's really diversified in its function and continuing to uh, do so as it as it develops and more and more cities use it. So this is both web-based and mobile-based exactly right. reporting. Yeah. So. so you use your phone, taking a picture, um, and you know, you're snapping it, and two seconds later, your city councilman or city manager or whoever is responsible for those issues is getting an email um, with the direct uh, GPS coordinates of the issue and a summary of the issue. And uh, if the city has uh, signed up for what they call the plus option, uh, then you've got the ability to actually route those issues directly to the people doing the work, kind of like what Maynard did. Mm -hmm. uh, Maynard, Texas is kind of known for really using that, 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 that uh, streamlined workflow, if you will, that you can you can use with C-Click Fix, uh, customizing your backend. Cool.